everybody, welcome back. I've got something very different to share with you guys today. I was recently approached by um, our creative studio to do a collaboration and I haven't, you know, really done a lot of collaborations with businesses in the past, but I was really excited to do this one because I've been seeing ladies doing this uh, on other channels and the, the products that they have really appealed to me um, because it's such a, a variety and mix. Um, so I thought today we are going to share, I'm going to share with you an unboxing of the of the package that I received. So I did go ahead and open and had a little sneak peek but um, I'll share with you guys. I didn't go in, I look at it a whole lot. I just wanted to have, kind of glance inside because I wasn't sure what it was uh, when I when I when I first got it. But I, first of all, I like the little card. That's really sweet little touch. Um, so that will be going into one of my journals. And then this paper, um, I'm definitely going to be using that. It's very very nicely presented. So it looks to me like um, you could make use out of most everything that's included in this um, some way or another. So let's just take this because the box is a bit fiddly. I'm going to just take all of this out if I can do it without tearing it. Bear with me. I'll try to just get this out. Yep. Oh, I did tear it. Okay. And let's just have a look. So <clears throat> And zoom out a little bit. I hope the lighting's okay today, guys. I um, had to close the blind in here, but okay, let's get started. First of all, I see two wood stamps, which is really exciting. And I like the little paper bag. I can see upcycling this some way. Oh, that's very pretty. It's just a vase that's been knocked over with some roses. That's a really, really pretty um, stamp. So we will actually, let me just sample this out right now. I'm gonna get this inked up and um, that again. My ink pad is uh, really needing re-inking, so let me try this on this side. Yeah, it's a really pretty image. So that's one of the stamps. Put that one back in there. I'll clean that in a minute. And then this is stamp number two here. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little cart with a bouquet of flowers in it. So let's just have a quick look at what this how this image comes out. Oh, that's a beautiful image. Yeah, there's a close-up of that. That's very pretty. I will definitely be using the so we've got the wood stamps and looks like some washi tape. That's very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, they're like stamps. Oh, let me just open this up because it's got the perforation like a, a postage stamp. So that's really different. Um, I haven't had one like that before. I think I'm going to have to try to do something to stabilize this table because it's um, shaking quite a bit. I can see that. So I do apologize, guys. Um, I'll see if I can get Paul to do something to, to stop this from shaking so much when I'm filming. All right, get that out of the way. Oh, this is really pretty. Let's see if I can find the stamp. 
start of it. Gosh, I can't see the start right now, so beautiful images, so I'll have to try to get that open. Oh, here's a little a little um, stickers with the little gnomes on the garden theme. So this is a garden theme, and it looks like this is the April collection. So if you are really liking this, I assume you can go in there and back order for the April. Um, so yeah, and then we've got these, looks like some labels, which is exciting. I never have um, a lot of labels to choose from, so just some, oh, it's a little pressed flower as well. So there's quite a bit of ephemera bits. That's a really pretty image. little pressed flower and then these little translucent labels some <coughs> some of the florals these are beautiful really pretty it's a nice assortment um, because if you're like me when you find uh, things often on Amazon or places sometimes you have to buy so much And if space is of value, which it is for me, <laughs> this is nice because it gives you a really nice little assortment to work with. So yeah, I really, really like those. I'll play around with those in a project here in a bit. This is very nice. Very pretty. These are like butterfly, and it looks like some botanical. No, they're all butterfly stamps. I mean, they're not real stamps, I don't think, but they're like replicas, but aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I love these. I will get a lot of use out of these, definitely. So that's going to be fun to do something with. And some of these stickers, you've probably seen these before. Aren't those beautiful? They're like a eucalyptus leaf, which is really pretty. So that's going to be fun. Ah, another little stamp set. Now this is nice. It's got a nice case to hold it. And these are the little cling stamps. But it's a garden theme. Love that. Happy bloom gardening time. This I can get a lot of use out of as well. So that's really nice. And I like the fact that they've provided just this little easy storage to keep everything tidy. Because these tiny stamps, it's very easy to lose one of those. This is pretty. And of course, as a crafter, you can see not only have you got the beautiful stickers, but you've got the packaging that you can upcycle as well. You've got this plastic that you can use in something. And then I love these little stick it notes. Aren't those just so sweet? Again, everything's in that garden theme for April. So that's beautiful. Uh, oh, I like this. this. Here we've got some die cuts. Again, everything coordinates just beautifully. So we'll pull these out. Oh, they got the little gnomes as well. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's, these are really, really pretty. This is going to be a lot of fun to work with these, and I love Oh, look at this one with the little glove. But this is the one I want to get. Look at the little gnome. Isn't that just so sweet? Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, okay, my head's spinning now. <clears throat> we got we got to do a little project using this. And I happen to be working on a wildflower journal. And um, I think... This could end up coordinating really nicely because one of the pages has got the welly boot image. So this is, I think this is going to coordinate beautifully with that um, journal that I'm working on. So that's another plus. 
Okay, so we've got some more paper ephemera. And I'll open this up and see what's in here. So here you've got some vellum. It's printed vellum sheets, which is absolutely amazing, particularly since I don't have any vellum to print off on right now. So these are going to be wonderful. And then these are just the images on some paper. So can't you just imagine this as a little journal card? How gorgeous for the background. Very, very pretty. Yeah, I love this. This is the first time I've ever had a subscription box, so um, I am just delighted to have all of these fun things to work with. This looks like a little piece of tissue paper. It's, again, the same images. Yep, these are some little, looks like maybe a six by six sheets of tissue paper. Let me just get one out because it's so delicate. I'm afraid I'm going to tear it. So you could do some decoupage with that. That's going to be gorgeous. Love it. And again, you've, it's all wrapped in this beautiful sheet. So this can be cut out and used as well. How fun. How fun is that? So, let me gather some things and let's just play around and see what we could make. We'll make something um, using this. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so let's get started and make something out of our subscription box here. I've got a shipping tag. I've got a book page. And the first thing I want to do is um, get some of this book page on the tag. So I'm just going to glue this down. Trim that off. I'm not going to bother inking it because I'm going to take a sheet of this vellum now and go over that. Um, I think I'm going to go this way with it. So I'm just going to get this down. These are just so, so pretty. And I've really missed working with the, the vellum because I haven't picked up any to print. I'm not too sure how it would work on that little portable printer that I've got. Um, that might be that might be pushing it to its limit, so I'll, I'd rather just purchase the things like this that I can work work on. So I'm just going to trim around this, and of course I'll save these bits, and I can use them in another project. Now, 
I'm just going to cut one of the little edges of this book page. And I'm just going to make a little frame on here, but I'm not going to actually go all the way to the edge. I'm going to just leave it about there, I think. Because I want, I want to see some of that um, writing. to add a, a little bit of my liquid glue to get this to hold to that vellum. We'll see. If this doesn't do it, I'll have to grab my, my other glue. But <clears throat> Just going to trim that off. I'm just, I've done it again, and I'm just wondering about putting another one there for just a little bit more interest. I think I will. I kind of like it doubled up. I think that's, it's just adding more interest to, a, to your tag. But again, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because I just want a little bit of that showing. Just going to add a little bit of ink to it so that that will stand out a bit more. And then we're going to ink the edges of this a bit. And we're going to put that right there. And let's just go ahead now and take, I've got this little piece, again, this is just off of my book page, just the little snippet off the book page, and I'm going to stamp Bloom on there. I'm not going to dig out my little acrylic block, so I'm just going to use this to hold that. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see it, but hopefully, oh, I'll tell you what, it be easier to do it on this. Let me just do it that way.
Let me just get this cut out. I'm not going to stress out that that's not perfect because it in the it really does not bother me. Ink that up a bit. And let's add a little bit of lace or seam binding, sorry silk, whatever you've got on hand. I've just got the muslin, so I'm going to use this if I can get it through there. And a little bit of twine. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. I really, really like how that's come out. You saw how simple that was, but you've used the vellum, I've stamped, and I've used one of the die cuts to create that, and it's just got a lot of different uh, textures and interest, I think, for that little tag. Quick and easy. You saw it's only minutes um, to do that. So... Let's just play with something a little bit different. Let me grab another tag. And let's do something completely different with this one. This one I'm thinking in terms of something more on a, a nature. <coughs> And I like this fern. So I'm going to just lay out a few things that I think I might be able to do something with. Got that. I'm thinking one of these stickers, and then I'm thinking a butterfly stamp here. So <clears throat> somehow I'm going to play around and see. Let me just get these out. 
this is quite a nice one. So I'm going to sit all these to the side here. So I'm going to take another little bit of book page. And let's just get this down and start putting some layers and see what we think about it. Kind of like oh, this is quite a nice one. I like that, but I also like that one. Okay, let me just see. Maybe I need... Oh, I've got this as well. I'm going to incorporate that somehow as well. Let me just see what else that there is in here I might want to use. Those are so pretty. Those are very, very pretty. Do something with those. I'm going to stick with that because we're going to be adding this in as well. And now I need to figure out where we're going to put this. I don't know. Do I really need that? I'm, I actually am starting to think maybe that's going to be enough. And then just have one of these along there. Mm. I don't know. The more I'm playing with it, the less decisive I am. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. I'm going to. Oh, this is a sticker, I think. Let's see. It feels like it's got a backing on it here. Let me just see if I can get this off. I'm sorry about the noise, guys. Uh, Paul's working outside. So I apologize for that. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down because I'm not too sure. I think it's a sticker, but I can't tell.
We could do two. That would look pretty, wouldn't it? I quite like that. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm not going to use this after all. And that's what happens sometimes. You think you, think you know what you're going to do with something. And then actually, I, I think I prefer it without it. But I tell you what I am going to do is add a... Um, Just a little saying to that, I think. And this one, since it's kind of a more of a nature, actually, let me ink this up real quick. Okay, just going to add a little bit of the twine to this one and snip that off. Alright, let me move this out of the way. And so there you go, guys. Um, with one subscription box, you can see you've got two very different tags from that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope that's given you some ideas on how you could make use of one of these. I'm going to put the description in the description box below how you can contact um, our creative studio if you would like to purchase one of these yourself. I hope you've enjoyed it. You guys take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.